Hi, my name is Mike Suman. I'm an author. I wrote a book called Should Your Idea Become a Business? It's based on my background of over 54 patents and licensing and inventing many products. Welcome to Buy Local Michigan, where we are promoting Michigan business, communities, and its people. Hello, I'm Dwayne from DW Video and Multimedia, and I'd like to welcome Mike Suman to the show today. Thank you, Mike, for showing up. Thanks for having me. Can you tell me a little bit about this business idea? Someone's got an idea and they want to make a business out of it. I think you wrote a book, something like that? I did. It's called Should Your Idea Become a Business? And I do volunteer uh, at places like Grand Rapids Inventor Network, Muskegon Inventor Network, and I talk to people that are startups as well as people inside companies that are trying to start up with a new idea inside their company. And so I have some processes and steps I try to help them down that road. Okay, what are some of those first steps? Well, the first step for everybody, whether you're in a company or you're alone, is the idea. And it's, it's a weird, I can't tell you the formula, but it's some sort of air fuel mixture and bang. Mm -hmm. Somebody has an idea, maybe they saw something that didn't work well and they can improve it, or that's the first step is, um, okay, I've got this idea, what do I do with it? I tell them, number one thing is you have to validate that idea. You have to check not only is it a product validation, but is there market validation? Has it yeah. been in the market and failed? What's a couple other quick tips that you can offer our viewers on, you know, they've got that idea, they're, they're starting to validate it. What are some other things that they should look at? Well, I think right after the validation, the idea that you say, wow, this is a pretty cool idea. It hasn't been out there before. It is good. Then you got to start the design and development phase. Okay. And that's where I talk about you got to build a team around you because you, we, you can't do it all yourself. You're the CEO of your idea. Right. And you need to build a team around that. And sometimes a lot of inventors that I know struggle with how to do that and should they do that, how much will it cost, all those things around building that team so you get design and development done correctly. Somebody comes to you, you know, from your book. I understand that Grand Valley is using it in one of their classes now. Yep, a couple of classes. So, so your your book is now teaching the young people, yeah. which is great. Yeah. What are some of the basic questions that come from them? Or from well, uh, exactly the subtitle is: Are you an inventor or are you an entrepreneur? And a lot of their questions come based on that range. You know. A good inventor, mechanical engineer, or electrical engineer can create amazing things in their bench, but that's a whole different lifestyle than try to be a CEO. As you know, you own your own business, and so mm -hmm. now you got to worry about taxes and payroll and mm -hmm. all those other insurances and yeah. all those things. Two different lifestyles. Somebody wants to get in touch with you. Maybe they want to learn more about your book or to just... Yeah, to order the book. How, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, my website is uh, www.mikesuman.com. Okay. Well, Mike, I'd like to thank you for showing up today. I'm Dwayne from DW Video and Multimedia. Remember to buy and shop locally. Buy Local Michigan is produced by DW Video and Multimedia, where we are telling your story.